What's up guys, this is RBT coming at you with my Texas A&M preview hate week video, don't know what I'm going to call it yet, probably just a preview, because I'll be honest with you guys, I am kind of worried about this game, uh, not only because Texas a and is a really good team, just because of the LSU game, and uh, all we're going to be beat up from it, uh, players are going to be coming off an emotional high from the game, so it's going to be pretty, pretty tough for our players that it is, it does give me hope that we're playing in Bryant Denny. So that is a plus 2:30 CBS game. So it'll it'll be a tough task. Texas and Texas A&M's definitely been the better of the two coming into the SEC out of him, them and Missouri. So they're a very dangerous team. Their only two losses on the year are to Florida and LSU, who are both to, two top ten teams, and they've lost by a combined eight points to those two teams. And they definitely had a chance to win both of them. But Johnny Manziel is. If he, he turned the ball over, he is turnover prone. That's the one good thing about him if you're playing against him. He can turn the ball over. And that's why they lost those two games because he turned the ball over. Turned the ball over against LSU three times, and that's why. But they can score points on you. And I think I did say in my prediction video that I do think uh, Texas A&M is the first team to uh, score over 20 points. As I think I said they scored 27 on us, actually. So I do think they have a lot of success against our defense because – they will definitely be starting to take from the LSU game where we were exposed in the secondary, definitely. Zach Mettenberger, I don't think anybody expected to be that great uh, in the game. But they can. He, We do need – it really will worry me about his scrambling ability. He's going to be the best scrambling quarterback we've played all year. That can throw. That takes away Denal Robinson because he's not that much of a throwing threat. So he can throw the ball effectively, and he can run the ball very effectively. He's leading the team in rushing and in passing, I think. He has over uh, 922 uh, rushing yards, 15 rushing touchdowns, and over 2,500 yards passing with 16 touchdowns. So that guy right there has over 32 or 31 uh, touchdowns total for the year. And I do think they're a top, I say a top 10 team rather than a, a 16 team just because they're two losses and have they played against everybody else. And But they, they're scoring 45 points a game. And I do think where we win this game is we just, we out, in the famous words of Courtney Upshaw, we out physical them in the second half. We beat their line down. I think we win this game in the trenches. I think uh, the defense definitely has been better than people expected, but they are vulnerable. They gave up 57 points to the Louisiana Tech. Granted, that is their only game of the season that they gave up more than 30 points, but they they have been exposed in the season to Louisiana Tech, who does, granted, have a great offense, but. I think we'd be able to handle our own against Louisiana Tech. Uh, so the defense can struggle at times, and I think when it comes down to the trenches, we win. And we win, I think we win this game by probably two touchdowns, but I do think I said that Texas A&M scores 27. So I'll go 27, Texas A&M, Alabama 41. Well, I think T.J. Yeldon, Eddie Lacy have big games. A.J. McCarron should have a bounce-back game. He did kind of play kind of bad last week until the last drive of the game. But I think we win this game by two touchdowns. So I'll go Alabama 41, Texas A&M 27. And this game does scare me, but we should pull it out. And if we win this game, we should have a pretty easy ticket to the, uh, to the national championship game. And uh, well, our only task will probably be Florida or Georgia more than likely Georgia, but I think we should be able to handle Georgia. But that, that's for another video. So I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, roll tide, go socks, and go tights to you. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys later.